Hi guys, I want to show you today how to compile multiple macro images to create one really sharp uh, image. Um, as you can see I've got uh, an image of a moth here, a photo I took yesterday in a studio and as I scroll through, there are 15 images all together and as I scroll through you can see the focus changes um, and this was shot on about f10 but um, as you can see when I zoom in uh, not all the parts are actually sharp so it's pretty good around the eye on this one but as you get to the back of the wing it's completely blurred and um, that's not what I want, I want a really sharp image, a really great um, identification shot of this moth. So if I select my uh, 15 images of the moth in Lightroom I can then drag them into Photoshop and uh, I can apply all the settings I want and I've done that previously and I've brightened it up and made sure the background is white and uh, then I can open them up into Photoshop and this can take a while um, especially if you don't have uh, that fast a computer um, I'm using 16 gigabyte of RAM here so it does speed up quite a bit but um, it will still take a little while okay so all my images are open now um, and I can go back to the first one and what I need to do is I need to get all of these on the same layer so if I go to file uh, and then scripts and load files into stack that will do it automatically for me and I add open files and OK. OK, so all the files I had open are now all on the same layer and they're all uh, unlocked as well. So if I select all of them and that's just um, clicking the top one, holding the shift key and then hitting the bottom one, uh, I can then go through to edit and then auto align layers. And this will, and then click OK, and this will uh, get rid of any of the slight movement there was even though it was done on a tripod in between the shots. Okay, so now that's done, we can go and have a little look at what the what Photoshop's actually done to our files. If we just click the top one, and we just hide it, we can see that they're actually really well aligned now. And uh, you can also see, if I just put those back, that we've also got a blank image at the edge where it's, it's rotated them and turned them so that uh, it fits. But as this is on a white background, I'm not really losing anything because I can just put the white back in later. So now I want to select them all again using the same uh, method as before and then go to edit and auto blend layers and then make sure it's stacked images there then click OK and what that will do is that will take the in focus parts from all the different images and then uh, put them together, combine them into one image and we'll have uh, a completely sharp moth. Okay and there we have it, it's um, aligned all the layers, it's blended all the layers and now if you look over to the layers panel you can see that it's you can see the bits that it's taken from each image um, there. If you start hiding them, you can see it gradually takes the bits away. Um, but we want all that to uh, be in the image. So we've got them all selected there. If we just go to Layer and then uh, Flatten the image, we can then got it all in one layer there. And we can just go in a little bit closer and have a look at the image. And yep, it's really sharp all the way through from the, the front legs to the back. Thanks for watching.